Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Circa Million selections for this uh, week six, uh, which is also the second week of the second quarter. And again, what we're trying to accomplish every week and hopefully develop this skill throughout the course of the season is to figure out uh, where the public is going to be. Remember, the, the thesis behind these contests is that the lines are very efficient, and if we can figure out what other people are going to be taking and go against them and pick non-owned teams, you put yourself in the best position to win contests like this. And this is an important, it's like the critical assumption to time these contests is that it's not about who can pick the best against the spread. I mean, it sort of is, but not really. You know, it, all it's about is whether you can pick better than everybody else. In other words, if you could, you can win at... If you pick 40% against the spread, you could still win. You, if you get 70% against the spread, you could still lose. All you're trying to accomplish in this contest, in theory, is to pick teams that are low-owned. And that's it. And the rest is just kind of up to variance. So just to kind of bring you to where we were and where we are, the theories that we were trying to employ this year are both kind of team-based and spread-based. The team-based ones, and we threw a couple more in, the team-based ideas were basically, well, overall on a macro level, the idea was that people like to play home teams for openers. Also, that people like to play favorites. That makes sense. Also, that people like to play, for lack of a better description, like good teams with good name recognition, with good quarterbacks. Even if they're underdogs, people just like to play those types of teams. And we can just kind of gauge of what that kind of represents by looking through the board. And then also people like to play teams off of wins. They hate to play teams off of losses. And the other thing that we kind of threw around was this idea that people like to play around these key numbers, meaning that if the spread were two and a half, they're much more likely to play the favorite than, than other ones. And if, if the spread were three and a half, they'd be less likely to play the favorite, even less likely than the actual odds would indicate. And so likewise as well, uh, around the seven number, the idea was that people would be less likely to play six and a half point underdogs than six and a half point favorites and, and, and things of that nature. Um, so I guess in theory, what you're looking for are, you know, if you want to play teams, you want to play road teams that are kind of bad that are not around that key number. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that we don't like to play teams that are, or any games at all that are uh, solid numbers, especially like plus three or minus three, because pushes are disastrous for a pool like this when you have to beat 70,000 people or however many people are playing. Um, okay. And the only way that we judge results is essentially is, is whether we were able to get to the lower owned teams. Ah, the one other thing that I forgot to mention, and we didn't pick this up until week two, I don't know why I didn't think of this, is that for whatever reason, nobody plays anybody on week on Thursdays. Nobody. Nobody plays those teams. So basically, blindly, we have to play teams on Thursdays until further notice because no one else plays. Them, okay? So to review how we did last week, again, it's kind of hard to, to, to be with me on this and not worry about results. We went three and two, but whatever. Here are the teams we ended up picking. We remember, we picked the, a random team from Thursday. We picked the Bears, okay? And they won. They covered, whatever, and they won. They were only 224 people. They were basically, with the exception of the other team in that game, the lowest owned team on the whole board, okay? Another team that we played was the Giants. They were the second lowest owned team on the whole board. Uh, they happen to have not covered, whatever. Third team we played were the Saints, who were the third, turned out were the third lowest rated team on the whole board. Okay. Then we messed up on two. I don't know what I did wrong, but uh, Jacksonville, we played plus five. I figured Bills would be much more popular, but people played the Jacksonville. So that was a big failure as far as I'm concerned. They happen to have covered, but I don't care. And then we played the Ravens. I thought that the people would keep on playing the Steelers because the Steelers were an extremely popular team to play in general, but, and they did, people did play them, but people also played the Ravens. So it's a, it's an extremely successful week for developing our process, 
And if we can continue to do this and play low teams that end up low owned, we're going to make a theoretical fortune. Okay. And that's all you could do in contests like this. So let's um, go into this week's spreads and we'll try to talk through this. Right. Uh, first of all, ooh, you know what? I have to do this right now. Oh, am I going to miss the deadline? I'm going to pick. I think I only have 30 minutes. We definitely have to play the Broncos. First of all, it's Thursday. Chiefs are a good team. Oh, we have to do this really fast. I only have like 30 minutes, right? Crap. All right, we got a, we got a, we got a blast. Um, Falcons, two and a half. They're home. Small favorite. Okay. People also don't like to play Commanders. Commanders plus two and a half. Definitely like that one. Ravens at Titans. It's right on that number. No good. Bears, three. Right on that number. No good. Bengals, two and a half. Perfect. Perfect situation. Cincinnati, they're back. Um, they're home. They're a good team. They people like playing Burrow. They're only laying two and a half. Who's playing Seattle? That's probably going to be us. Uh, Browns plus seven and a half at home. No, you want to know why? Because people like playing home teams. Uh, that's that key number. Uh, well, if anything, you play the 49ers, but you can't do that. You just can't play popular teams like that. Uh, Saints. Minus two uh, at Texans. It's a good kind of like spot game. The Saints are coming off a 40-point win against Minnesota, but uh, my uh, New England. But I, you know, again, I can't make my judgments there. So I think this line is probably, you know, the public will be on both sides of this. Jaguars only four against the Colts. Boy, I'd rather not play this key number, but Colts plus four seems pretty contrarian here. Panthers plus 13 and a half, absolutely have to do it. Bad team against a great team and right around that key number. Uh, Bucks plus three and a half, no. Raiders right on the three, no. Rams right on the seven, Jets right on the seven. Okay, we're making this easy. Bills, I would like to try the Giants, even though it's the 14 and a half, because – you know, no one wants to play the Giants. The Bills are at home. They're really good. The Giants are terrible. Cowboys minus two and a half at Chargers. No. So it's basically five of these six. And I want to get this in before it, this thing closes. So I'm going to have to make this rush. So I got to check this. Broncos, definitely. Commanders, almost definitely. Seahawks for sure. You know what? The Colts are right on that push number. I don't think I can do that one. So we're going to go with Giants. Panthers, Seahawks, Commanders, Broncos, boom. Okay, excellent. All right, so now that they're in, now we can just give it a second. Again, I could still change these things. I just want to make sure the Thursday deadline is kind of taken. It says Thursday games must be entered by Thursday at 3 p.m. Right? So let's think a second. Commanders for sure. Again, the key number, nobody likes to play the Commanders. They're on the road, only two and a half. No one's playing. Seattle, same thing. These two and a half point road dogs, we like this. Panthers, plus 13 and a half, I like that. And the Giants, plus the 14 and a half. Boy, people, but the Giants are still that home team, though. I mean, the people still, the people from New York, I don't know. It's either them or the Colts. What's more important, avoiding that push or maybe being on the chalk team? You know what? I think it's avoiding being on the chalk team. We'll go with we'll go with that. We'll go with Colts. Okay, that looks that looks bad. Okay, so again, let's see how we do. Uh, let's uh, see if we can avoid. Uh, we play, play some good low owned teams, and uh, hey, maybe maybe variants in our side. We actually win a couple of these things, but uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.